and uh, he was found very upset. He said, What is religion? And you know, relationship with religion and kids. He reminded them, Every child is born with a neutrality. They are in a sense. Child is the incarnation, so the incarnation of innocence and beauty, as someone said. Professor Lawley said, Children, don't fight. If you don't differentiate between the children of the Muslims and the children of the non Muslims. On another occasion, there was this uh, body puffing of a non Muslim brother carried through the streets of Medina. <coughs> it was a Jewish brother who passed away and they were carrying this uh, body. And Professor Lawley said, stood up to his feet. Again, one of the companions united in the Rasulullah does not the body of the Muslim. He thought Rasulullah didn't know that Rasulullah is said, it is the body of a human being. He is a human. So this is what Prophet said. He walked his form. When we learn about Hadith, Hadith is not just his words. Hadith is not collection of Hadith is not collection of Prophet Sallallahu words. His actions, not only his actions, his consents, then even his silence is part of Hadith. When you go through the books of Hadith, you can say that uh, you may not see. I saw the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam doing so and so. Instead of, I heard Rasulullah say, instead of his saying, they were talking about what he used to do. He was, once Aisha Allah one night, the wife was asked, when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi passed away, somebody asked, how, how, what was the character of Habibullah uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? And she asked, don't you read Quran? They said this. That his behavior, his character was Quran. Quran was his character. There are two things. Character and personality. Which one is more important? Personality is the total sum of the impression that we create. That what we do, we say, we display when everybody around us looking at us, the way we dress ourselves, our hairstyle, the way we walk, our voice, motivation, everything, the way we interact with people, and you could say his personality is higher. Whereas, what's character? Character is whatever you say, whatever you do, and whatever you even think within yourself inside. When nobody is looking at you, that's your character. So, character is more important than personality. These days, you know, if someone is picking the best employee for the company, or the best friend, or the best partner in life, they always look at the superficial, the outwardly, the, the false, the outside things, external things, whereas what is he inside? That's his character. Habibuna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِنَّكَ عَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ وَإِنَّكَ عَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ And indeed, you are on a high ethical character, high standard of character. 
And Rasul himself said, Inna ma nabu'idu an kutamima makarim Allah ta'ala. I have been sent to this world to perfect the character. So the character is very, very important. So my boys and girls, my brothers and sisters, as a Muslim, we have to cultivate good character. It should start in, you know, early in your life, right from early childhood, carry it through forward to your youth and you become an adult and you go out to the community, to the society, be the best human being that others can rely on. So character and of course personality, they are very important that that character is the greatness of our religion. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was the exponent of all those good characters, patience, forgiveness. I started the talk asking you who can smile to someone who comes to attack you. 